there! If you're subscribed to this channel, you may have just woken up to about 35 or so videos posted immediately after the 47 or so videos that were posted yesterday. Um, I've been doing these rant drops every month. Uh, usually ends up being all at once, even though I never intend for it to be. I've made videos about why I do it this way, so I'm not going to go into explaining that. But something I have thought about doing is just saying which ones I think are like particularly worthwhile. People generally click on these rants for one of two reasons. Either because they're interested in the subject matter, or because it is, uh, they just watch them all. You know, there are some people who just like the rants and will watch all of them. But there's, there's plenty of people who are like, I want to watch the ones if they're interesting, but a lot of them are boring or, you know, don't go into much detail or wouldn't be interesting if you weren't already interested in the subject matter. So I'm going to go through and tell you which ones I think are just interesting to watch by pointing the camera at the screen and going through it. So let's see here. <clears throat> um, I, I think that a lot of the, the later ones were the more interesting ones this round. So ranting about ethical marketing, pretty interesting. Just goes into my mentality towards, uh, you know, how I market my stuff and make money off of it. This one, ranting about Ben Saint's radicalization. If you follow Ben and you've been interested in his evolution, I'm definitely curious to see how he'll feel about this one um, when he wakes up and sees it. Uh, if you care about backwards compatibility, this one's fine. Um, the tags one's pointless. This one's actually pretty philosophical. I, I, I thought the ranting about hedonism was a, was a fun one to do. Ranting about cancel culture has some interesting points in it. It was kind of, uh, it's kind of unfocused because I was just like coming up with stuff on the spot. Uh, maybe some of these ideas will return in a rolling dervish someday. Ranting about my reputation was a fun one to do. I think I made some interesting points. The Doors one was surprisingly entertaining. I, uh, I enjoyed doing it. Uh, How Run Punch Man Explores Depression. This one is me reacting to a video that somebody did that was in my, my in response to my Is There Meaning in Subverting Shonen Tropes video. Um, and had a, basically a disagreement about it. And uh, this is me just kind of, you know, um, explaining why he's wrong and doubling down on my original message. Ranting about death. If you want some existential dread, you can watch this one. Um, let's see. These ones... Ooh, if you're just looking for music recommendations, I'll tell you a few. Like, uh, I really like this song, so if you want to hear me talk about a song positively, there's an example. Uh, if you want to hear me talk about music negatively in a really hilarious and uh, analytical way, um, this Porter Robinson rant is me just kind of going in uh, on him. Uh, the archiving one, I do have some kind of interesting thoughts about archiving in this. I'll probably bring it up in a different video at some point in the future. Uh, butt Rock vs. Spurg Rock is a good meme one. Ranting about cigarettes, I talk about kind of my history with smoking and, and how I feel about it as a, as a thing in general. Um, most of these ones are not. Uh, the Homestuck fandom one is, uh, you know, meant to be a, 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 a sort of glimpse into it for people who've never heard of it, like what my perspective was on the Homestuck fandom as it was going, and also how I feel about the, you know, the story and, and its fan base. Um, how to stay sane in our socio-political cult culture. If you need help, there you go. Uh, the NoFap one was a lot of fun. This is one of my raunchy ones. The, the best videos every month, the ones that get the most views and are the most fun to do, are always the ones that are about sexual stuff, and YouTube always demonetizes them. It's fucking so annoying. Like, the only videos that get demonetized are the ones that are the best and get the most views. Um... This was just a, you know, if you want a recommendation of a neat little short, you could watch that. Uh, worst opinion I've ever had. Spoiler alert, it's about Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. This one's fun. I go up to the screen and judge a bunch of artwork in comparison to each other. Um, the sleep one is um, a, a sort of update on my previous opinions about sleep because I recently read a big... Uh, National Geographic article about it and, and had some new insights, I suppose. The opening monologues one is me kind of playing defense for certain types of opening monologues and uh, aggress aggressing against other ones. Here's another one that's a ton of fun and, of course, is demonetized, ranting about pulling out versus birth control. Um, this one's about just kind of an interesting album, I guess. Uh, ranting about preventing mass shootings. This is a, you know, big topical one. I, I think my presentation was pretty good here. I think, I'm, I, think I made my point fairly well. Um, I don't know if it's going to be agreed with a lot, by a lot of people. There's definitely a few comments already that disagree, but, uh, you know, um, 
this one's just funny in that I, uh, I'm just making fun of uh, Munchie for being obnoxious at conventions uh, in the past. Um, let's see. This is not a rant that you need to watch, but if you haven't seen Streets 112, you need to watch that video. Uh, here's another band I end up liking. Here's a band I end up thinking is just okay. All right, that was all the rants that I just posted today. So now let's go to the other ones. Let's see. Um, this one's not that interesting. Emp Lemon, if you like Emp Lemon, I guess. KYDB, this is a YouTuber you should definitely subscribe to. I uh, praised him effusely in this video. I think he is great. Uh, one of the best anime YouTubers I've found, honestly. And he deserves a lot more subscribers. He has less than a thousand, I think, still. Um, uh, Cluster Punk, if you want to learn about my personal aesthetic. Uh, let's see, beef, this was fun to do, I love talking about beef. Love Advice from the Great Duke of Hell is another one where you don't really need the rant, but it's recommending a pretty good webcomic that is worth checking out. Um, if you've been curious about my state, why I'm so obsessed with Immortals, this video explains that. Ready to talk about Digibro is just kind of a meme, you might think it's funny. The, uh, the, the, uh, I would have said this was the epic conclusion to the Teen Titans saga, except that I've already been requested for September to rant about the comment that the person who requested the rants, uh, left on this video, disputing my take on the, uh, on everything. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, this one's basically me just, like, talking about, like, uh, trying to sort out what me and Vouch would do if we collaborated. Um, most of these, see, like I said, the later ones were a lot more interesting. Uh, ranting about Cozy, we I, I actually show one of his videos in full that is pretty entertaining. This is another guy that uh, might be worth subscribing for some of you out there. I think he's, his videos are pretty fun. Ranting about living with people who don't get anime is, uh, is you know, if you've, if you've dealt with those kinds of situations, might be interesting for you. Uh, ranting about kink, of course. Another one that was a lot of fun to do and it's got a lot of views, but definitely demonetized. So fucking frustrating. Um, ranting about my worst concert experience. If you haven't heard me tell the story of the Dragon Force show, which I know I've told in other places, but this is finally it as its own video. Um, so I think it's, I've only talked about it in Let's Plays or something. Let's see. Uh, also, if you've been waiting for the sequel to the Log Horizon series, I mean, I just kind of explain what's good about season two here in brief. Um, this one is about a video that is interesting, um, and I end up doing basically a follow-up video, like, basically, like, what this, what the video I'm talking about inspired me to think about, I go on about in this video, so that was an interesting one for that reason. Um, this one, I kind of evolved my stance on furry art slightly, so some people were excited about that. Uh, this one, I, I respond to a video that is itself a respond to another video, um, and essentially agree with the point he's making, but try to broaden it, um, you know, out to, to, to basically have a more full point, uh, you know, to, to, basically I try to do a better job than, than I felt he did uh, at making the point, no offense. Uh, let's see, um, this one's just a dumb meme. Oh, if you really want to see me get fucking bitter about an album that I don't like, listen to me talk about this new Tool album. Um, let's see. Astronaut No Mocha, Rhetoric. I learned about rhetoric and talk about my rhetoric in this video. Um, and the Apple one is particularly long because I just go through every single thought I've ever had about Apple. So if that interests you, check that out. Those are pretty much all the ones that are I think are worth watching for for various reasons. Um, you know, unless you are interested in the subject matter, but, uh, yeah, um, definitely the last ones were, were the best stretch. Just, uh, maybe people just had more time to think of, uh, better topics, I guess, but that's it.